This is just a bit of a quick extra video because I really wanted to try and clear something up. I noticed there was a lot of confusion with regard to it and I thought maybe it's my duty to try and sort this out because I noticed this in the comments under a video I put out about the Audio Technica Sound Burger, the limited edition reissue. It was all caused by the fact that this doesn't have a headphone output. It's got a line output and it's got Bluetooth out and that's it. So the idea would be if you wanted to listen over headphones, you'd connect them up over Bluetooth. Now, the previous model, the original one that came out almost 40 years ago, that had two headphone outputs as well as a line out. Now, the people who saw the video on this one, a lot of the comments were people asking, well, can't you use the line output as a headphone out? And that's fair enough. If people don't know, they ask a question and you'd like to answer them. The problem is when you answer a question on YouTube it gets forgotten about very quickly because you answer it and then we get the page will scroll down someone will ask it again so there's little point trying to clear something up in the YouTube comments the other issue the one that was more important I thought that, that worried me a little bit more was that there were people saying you can use headphones in a line output that's misinformation and the trouble with that is if Audio Technica decide to relaunch this as a proper product that you can buy without the limited edition then somebody might go looking for the review of it think oh I want to plug in wide headphones can you do that they'll look down in the comments and people say oh yeah you can plug headphones into the line out and they go oh, great I'll go and get one then and then they'll be disappointed because that information is incorrect so I think it's best to try and clear it up I think I should perhaps address what I presume is the reason for this confusion existing in the first place. The fact that this device, the line out, uses a three and a half millimeter output. And the fact is you could, if you wanted to, plug your headphones into there because they've got the same size eighth of an inch, 3.5 millimeter plug on the end. But the fact that something plugs into something else doesn't mean that it's designed to go into there. Just as an example, if I look at my Walkman here, it's got four three and a half mil sockets on it we've got ones labeled headphones line out but we've also got line in and mic and then in addition to that you might find devices where they use three and a half mil for the power i've seen ones where they use it for an interconnect between two components to send data between them the fact that things plug into a three and a half mil socket doesn't mean that it's a standard other than it all just fits together what you need to do is look at the legend that's printed next to the socket to see what that is supposed to do so you look and say oh headphones right i'll plug the headphones into that one on this one you look at it and it says line out it doesn't say headphones but if that legend wasn't there or you couldn't read it for whatever reason it's clear that this device isn't designed to be used with headphones because there's something missing that was on the original if you look at the original one that does have headphone outputs We've got a volume control wheel here because you need to be able to control the volume of your headphones because there's a headphone amplifier in here so it's taking what's effectively the line level output putting it through an amplifier that then you can control the volume of with this one because we haven't got a headphone amplifier we don't have a volume control so it can only have an output at one volume at the line level now if you do plug your headphones into here well what happens you just get a very quiet output you can just about hear what's going on but it's at such a low level that it's almost useless and it depends very much on your headphones as well if you had headphones that required more amplification to be able to drive them you might not be able to hear anything at all i've got two headphones here one's from sony and philips and uh, it sounds about the same volume on both of these and it's just too quiet in fact probably time for a demonstration Okay, now I've got the sound burger plugged into my amplified speakers. If I just take the mute off, you can hear the music coming through and it's displayed at the back here as well. I'll just put the mute back on again though because I just want to talk about the purpose of line out. You always need to amplify it. Once it comes out of here via line out, after that point you need to amplify it before you listen to it. That's whether it's over headphones or over speakers. The purpose of the line out is to have a, a level that is roughly the same as any other component that you might plug into your amplifier. For example, if I have a hi-fi system and I've got a CD player, a mini disc, a cassette deck, 
various other components if i want to switch between them i don't want one to be three times the volume of the other one when you jump between them you want them to be roughly the same now i can't demonstrate with this the difference between plugging in headphones and plugging in the line output because if i plug in headphones myself i can hear them but you can't but i think what we'll do instead of using this to demonstrate the difference between the line out and the headphone out i'll use the walkman here because it's got both the sockets as we mentioned we've got headphones there We've got line out on the back. Right, so to compare the output levels, we're gonna plug, first of all, the headphone socket into these speakers, and we're gonna turn the volume up to full, and we'll just have a listen to that. Okay, pause there. Take the wire out, put it in the line out at the back, and let's compare the output level of this one. Yeah, can you hear that? Barely registering. And that's the same results you'll get in anything where you go between a line out and a headphone output. The maximum volume of the headphone output is a lot greater than it is of the line out. I've just realized where the confusion comes from. You can use a headphone output as a line out. You just want to make sure you turn your volume down to something suitable for your equipment so it's not overloading it. But yeah, it goes the other way. So that's quite useful. If you've got a headphone output on something, but no line out like this device here, you can plug this into your normal equipment. You can plug it into headphones. I also sometimes use these things plugged into mic inputs because you can lower the volume down so much on a headphone output you can bring it down to a level that you'll be able to plug it into a mic input, which is what I do when I'm filming things. Sometimes I want to give you live audio. I send the audio out of a device into the camera so that you're getting a live feed of what I'm listening to. So yeah, I suppose that's where the confusion comes from. You can use a headphone output as a line out, as well as a headphone out, but you can't use a line out as a headphone out without amplification. Now, with all that said, I'd have much preferred it if Audio Technica had included a headphone output on this new version as well. The fact that they've included Bluetooth on it, I can understand why they've done that. Because, well, if we go back to the original one, one of the issues with this was that people would plug the headphones in at this end and then the wire would end up fouling the arm on the record bearing in mind that the whole thing sticks out from the sides when it's playing and your arms out here you've got to be very careful to keep your headphone wire away from the arm and they put a little guide on here and the idea would be that you're supposed to sort of wrap your headphone wire through there to stop it going in to this part it didn't really work loads of people had trouble with it people would end up knocking this stylus off and things with the headphones of course, nowadays with Bluetooth, no issue with that. You can wander around while you're listening to it. The only trouble is that the Bluetooth standard incorporated in this was SBC, which is pretty low end. But still, if somebody was really interested in getting the very best out of the vinyl records, they were some kind of audio file they wanted, the ultimate vinyl experience, all analog and all that. Well, I very much doubt that they'd be listening to the records on a sound burger in the first place. But then again, if you wanted to get the best quality out of a sound burger over headphones well forget the bluetooth and just get yourself a little headphone amplifier i mean most people that are really into their headphones and stuff would know about headphone amplifiers already but if you haven't got one useful thing to have just in case a situation like this arises where you've just got a line out and you want a headphone out well that's exactly what this does so you just plug your your line out from the sound burger into one of these two sockets on the back where it says auxiliary in and then the other one well that's where your headphones go and then you get the volume control on this side which is also the on off switch on this particular device and you can drive your headphones as loud as you want and it's even got a switch on here that says gain low and high so depending upon the level of the line output on a device because they do vary a little bit you can bring it up to whatever you need so yeah useful little device of course rechargeable because it needs power to amplify but you know I, i'd recommend getting yourself a nice little headphone amp if you're really interested in getting the best quality on traditional headphones out of something like this now my voice might sound a little bit weird because i've got another microphone over here as well as the one that i'm using at the moment i'm just going to place it over there because i'm going to plug these headphones in switch this thing on put the headphones near that mic 
that should give you some kind of level of experience as to what the volume output is. I don't know if you can even hear anything at all there. Right, so with that in mind, let's unplug the headphones and plug them into the headphone amp in the output on the right here. The auxiliary input, the other end of that wire, I've got to plug it into the light out from the turntable. Right, okay, ready? Let's turn this on and you should be able to hear what's coming out over there. I can hear that from where I'm sitting. By the way, I don't think they do this one anymore, but it's the Fio A3. This one charges via micro USB. I'd imagine it'd be USB-C nowadays. But there you go, that's all I wanted to say. Line out is not headphone out. And don't let anyone tell you that it is. Anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.